Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Ashley and I, I'm gonna wait till I'm in focus. <laughs> okay, there we go. I run things here at Oak Rogal and today we're doing, you guessed it, another grocery haul. I already thought to myself before, um, before I even started filming that like, this is gonna be a longer haul because I feel like I have so many things I need to talk about, so many things I need to explain. So buckle up, it's gonna be a longer one. It's not gonna be a long video, but it'll be a longer haul. Um, I'm talking kind of more quieter, is that a word, quieter, than usual because it's 6.38 and Daisy went down at about 6.05. I was still out getting groceries at that time, but um, her room is like right there, so I don't wanna wake her. Um, we were gone all day long and the last thing that I wanted to do was go grocery shopping But I knew if I put it off till tomorrow a we would have no food because it was seriously like Old mother Hubbard's cupboards like we have had nothing like this morning Um, when we woke up I told her and I'm like we're gonna have to get breakfast because we literally have nothing like we have no bread no eggs nothing um So one I knew we would have no food and two I knew that I would have to go tomorrow with Daisy and I just That's just a disaster and um if I could avoid that, then that's what I wanted to do. So I went out tonight. I got everything. Um, I spent way less than I thought I was going to spend. Um, when the cashier was like done, I didn't think she was done. Like I thought she had more to, um, more to go. But so um, that being said, one thing I did want to mention before we get started, trust me, there's going to be more info as we go. And then I need to, t to tell you guys something at the end. So <laughs> just a lot of extra information today. One thing I did want to mention though, is that I, you'll notice I didn't get a ton of stuff for Daisy. Like I didn't get, um, I don't know. I feel like I normally get her like, you know, not a ton, but like m multiple freezer things. Um, or I don't know, just like n newer things to try new, like vegetables, whatever. The reason for that is that this week I'm trying something new. I'm gonna have her start eating for dinner what we ate the night before. Um, so like if on Tuesday we have pork tenderloin, then Wednesday for dinner, that's what she'll have. She goes to bed so early that it's impossible for us to eat at, all eat at the same time because she eats at five um, and we are not gonna eat that early. So I really, I've mentioned before, like I'm trying to introduce her to new foods. I want her to get used to eating different things. And so um, I think that that helped the cost this week because I didn't pick up anything like that. But I just thought like, A, it's good to know because you're not gonna see a lot of like freezer or extra stuff for Daisy. And and B, just in terms of like, um, you know, kind of like a little Daisy um, tidbit, just something new that we're, we're trying with her. So let me go ahead and jump into my list and then I'll show you everything I got. And then, um, I'll tell you how much I spent. You guys know the drill. Let me show you my list. All right. So we have my meals for the week. Um, I, Cernan is going to be on his own tomorrow night cause I'm going out with my sister and my dad. Um, and then every other night is a meal that I'm cooking. Um, mine is Friday. Friday is, I put, I forgot, to, I forgot to get that. Dang it. I put prepared because I wanted to just, I could not think of another thing to cook. I was online forever. No recipe sound interested, interesting to me. So sometimes I'll just write prepared and then I'll just pick up like a freezer thing or something. So I don't know. I might have to get that at some other point in the week. Cause I totally spaced and forgot, even though it says prepared meal in the middle of my list. Anyways, we have produce snacks frozen um this is all aisle stuff what i'm making for lunches uh beverages meat and dairy all right let's go ahead and jump into it man i'm so pissed that i forgot to get that prepared meal but whatever i'll get it in the middle of the week all right so we have two apples these are for daisy um i just picked up one avocado i bought bacon this week um to have in the morning so we're not going to do avocado toast um, so I just picked up one avocado for Daisy. She's not like the biggest fan, but again, trying to just like keep putting things on her plate, you know, keep introducing things to her and trying to get her to kind of venture out of her picky toddler <laughs> shell. Um, oranges for Daisy, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, two things of lettuce, grape tomatoes, and basil. Those are for the um, lunches I'm making for the week. I'm doing like a caprese, caprese salad, um, 
with chicken. And onto the meat, we have, like I said, the apple smoked bacon. I, you guys, I used, you know, I used to buy this every week. I haven't bought this in a long time. So um, I'm pumped that this is gonna be back in my fridge again. These I'm not taking out because they're disgusting. I never bag my meat because I just don't care. But I picked these up and there was like sticky like chicken juice on them. And they were the last two chicken tenders. So I've had to get them. Um, so I picked up two things of chicken tenders. Then I got two prepared salads. This is just for tonight because like I said, we were gone all day long and I'm not, I'm not cooking a meal. So I got this Mexicali salad with chili lime chicken for Cernan. And I got this, um, it's like a barbecue chicken salad with like a um, barbecue ranch dressing for me. Next up we have dairy, a huge thing of half and half, two things of eggs. I made the mistake of only buying one carton of eggs last week and that was dumb. I don't know why I did that. Um, sliced cheese. Um, this is mainly for Daisy, but we'll probably eat this for um, snack too. Um, shredded ch sharp cheddar for a recipe, and then yogurt. Oh, speaking of yogurt, this is one of this, this is one of the things I thought of, of that I wanted to mention, like mid haul. So I bought. Let me show you what I bought. Okay, I bought these for Daisy. They are. There, so it's the Stonyfield like organic yogurt that I bought her before, but it's the veggie one. So it's purple carrot and sweet potato. And I thought like, oh, they're gonna sneak it in. Like I didn't, I didn't even think that they wouldn't be sweet. Uh, yeah, these are not sweet at all. She will eat them if they're mixed with like another yogurt or with applesauce. So that's why I picked up the Trader Joe's yogurt still, even though these are in my fridge because I'm gonna mix them together. Um, honestly, I still think it's a great way for her to get some, you know, veggies in her system. It just has to be mixed with, um, with, with something else that's sweet, which is fine. Um, speaking of sweeter yogurt, I got these and I think these are so cute. I'm not gonna lie, like this packaging, oh, is it gonna focus? This packaging completely sucked me in. It's like a matte, like matte packaging. <laughs> oh my God, I'm such a sucker. But it's um, Chobani, they're called Gimme's, and it's like yogurt, and it's it's kind of in like a go-gurt tube, but it's much smaller. This is the Creamy Orange Dreamy yogurt tube. Um, this, it's the Creamy Orange Dreamy flavor, and um, it's just such a good thing for a snack. I wrap mine in foil so that it stays kind of cold and then throw it in her snack bag like that's in my diaper bag. She's been loving these. Again, a great snack option that's like kind of on the healthier side. All right, now that I've disclosed that to you, <laughs> I feel like I just have to tell you guys everything. I want you to be in the know, even about what yogurt my daughter's eating. Um, I picked up two of these. These are the mozzarella balls. They're, they're the small ones. These again are for that caprese lunch salad that I'm gonna make for the week. Frozen stuff, I got this for Cernan because again, like I said, I'm going out to dinner tomorrow so he'll be on his own. This is for him. I've mentioned this before, but I love this because it's pretty low in calorie for like a freezer meal. Um, and Cernan really likes it. So it, it's, a, it's a good one to have in there, if, especially if you don't buy freezer meals often. I got these for Daisy. They're just multi-grain waffles. They're not the healthiest, but I want her to be eating more at breakfast. And um, I think what I'm gonna start doing is Tomorrow, because you know, these go in the freezer, they'll last forever. But tomorrow, I'm gonna try to give her an egg with her yogurt and see if she'll eat it. Um, if she does, I'll probably just hang on to these. If she doesn't, then I might introduce these. I just want her to be more full. Like, I feel like she wants snacks so early because she's not she's not full enough after her breakfast. So, because all she's been eating lately is just yogurt. Um, so, anyways, I just kind of bought these as a backup if the egg doesn't go over well. All right, aisle stuff, we have peanut butter because we ran out, two things of black beans, a thing of corn, um, this Milton's multigrain bread, salsa, um, vegetable broth, and then I still picked up two things of mac and cheese for her um, because those I'll probably make for lunches at some point. But again, you guys know the spiel about the dinners. Um, I got some mums. These are like the dark red, like brownish ones. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, and then for snack stuff, the usual white cheddar corn puffs, the peanut butter puffs. I got these for Daisy. Um, she loves them, but I, I don't buy them often, so they're kind of like a special a special thing just because they're so sweet. They're so, so sweet. Um, 
olives for Cernan and I, more of the turkey sticks, and then I had Lara bars on my list, but instead of eating the Lara bars, I picked this up just as something different. Um, it's the handfuls of Happy Trekking, um, trail mix, almonds, cashews, pistachios, chocolate, cram chocolate cranberries, and cherries. Um, I re this, this is one I really like. I also really like the breakfast one, but it doesn't have as many... I don't think it, I'm not even sure if it has the breakfast one has any nuts in it. It's like the breakfast blend trail mix. Um, so this is at least, at least some protein. Um, and we used to get this all the time and just got super burnt out. So I think since we haven't had it in like an eternity, um, it'll be nice to kind of have in there. And then beverages, not a whole lot today. Just the M Chevalier Cava. Um, a thing of sparkling water for Daisy. And then I also picked these up for Daisy. Um, they're essentially juice boxes. They're like, they come in the pouches, kind of like the Capri Sun, um, juice, but they're organic. And then the sugar on these, um, is not bad at all. It's eight grams of sugar and none of it's added sugar. So it's all just like sugar from the fruit. Um, again, I've mentioned this before, but these are like not something that we just like, she just drinks, um, when she wants to. I always keep one in my diaper bag to use as like an incentive, um, for her if she's having a tough time or like as a reward if she had like a super fabulous day. All right, so that was my haul. Um, the only thing, so I didn't get that prepared meal, so I'll probably, I probably will have to go back and get that. Um, I was just gonna get like something out of the freezer section, so um, I'm guessing maybe that will run me like 10 bucks maybe, because um, I'll probably have to have a side to go with it. So 10 bucks and then, um, I think I still need to get coffee. God, I feel like I'm all over the place. No, I have enough coffee. So that's all I, that's all I need to get. So I guess add on like eight to 10 bucks to 127.87. That's how much I spent today. And I only had to go to one store, um, which is awesome. You guys, seriously, like my cart was so full and there were also things I had thrown in there that I wasn't planning on getting like, um, I wasn't planning on getting the trail mix. I wasn't planning on getting the juice boxes or the cereal bars. Um, so I was very happy that the, the total was so low. Um, so yeah, that's my haul for the week. I did want to mention that we have decided that once the new year rolls around, we are going full blown keto, like full blown keto. We both feel disgusting. Um, we just feel like blah and honestly like yeah my clothes are fitting differently because i i've gained back i've gained back about uh, a little less than half less than half of what i lost when i did keto the first time which was in um may i think we did it i think we did it in may so like my clothes are fitting differently and like I'm not happy with the number on the scale, but mainly um, both of us, Cern and Anna, we just feel so sluggish. Like I I just feel gross and sluggish and um, I, have, I have like really low energy and for us, keto is the best way to like jumpstart again, like not eating any processed foods. And also it's, it's holiday season, right? Like today we went over for like a barbecue for like a family barbecue and yeah, we were eating like chips and dessert stuff. And so for us, like I said, keto is just a good way to, you know, just kind of jumpstart, like not, not ju to jumpstart, not having the craving for that kind of food. And keto is not a diet that you can live on forever. That would be so unhealthy, but it is a good, um, way of eating to do every now and then when you just need to cut out the garbage and um, I mean you guys see my hauls I don't buy a ton of like processed junk food but like on the weekends we kind of eat what we want to eat if we want to go out um, or you know sometimes during the week we'll get like Chick-fil-A or something and and you know that's fine within reason but like when you start to feel like crap you have to kind of reevaluate what you're putting into your body. So I'm gonna do like a full, I'm gonna do like a keto series. This was like the main thing that I'm getting to is that I'm gonna do a keto series on my channel where I'm gonna do weekly videos. I'm gonna do like weight updates. I'm gonna tell you my starting weight. I feel like 
the last time I did keto, I didn't have a YouTube channel. So I did everything on Insta stories and it was actually like my first time recording myself um, on like video, like on Instagram and like posting it for the world to see. Um, and that helped me so much. It helped, you know, for whatever reason, telling everyone that follows me what what I'm eating and what I'm doing and how many pounds I'm down. Um, I never told them my weight, which is what I am gonna do in my series, but um, I did tell them like, oh, I've lost this many pounds. It held me accountable, like nothing has held me accountable before. So I'm basically just like t transitioning from that to my YouTube channel. So before the first of the year, I'm gonna have a video go up that's gonna be like, why we do keto, how it worked for us last time, why we like it, how much weight I lost when I've done it previously. Um, and then yeah, from there on out, I'm gonna do like weekly updates and stuff. So um, I'm really, ex I'm actually really, really excited because I feel like, again, it's just kind of like a new direction that my channel can go in. And I am no, I am no expert. I am no like, I'm not a food scientist. I'm not a like, I just know that like we've done it before and it's worked like a dream and we're both ready. We both know how we felt when we were on it and we felt amazing and we're both ready to feel that way again. So apologies, I feel like that was super rambly, but um, I'm just really, really excited. I've, I've said it multiple times. I'm just really proud and pumped about the direction that my channel's going in and the dedication that I've had over these last couple weeks and I can't wait to just like keep trucking. So if that sounds interesting to you, or even if that doesn't, and you just like this grocery haul, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell. So you're made aware every time I post, I'm pretty much on a strict Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Now I feel like I can say it. Um, so just kind of keep an eye out and definitely keep an eye out for that new series. That's going to start at the end of the month. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Um, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye friends.